in the state's largest district, Detroit Public Schools Community District. You know, 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz is live outside Harms Elementary School in southwest Detroit. And Jen, Detroit is one of the school districts offering both in-person and virtual learning. How many students are likely to walk into school today? Well, Keenan, the majority of students district-wide will be starting the school year online, but uh, as you mentioned, the district is offering face-to-face -face instruction, so we, of course, are expecting to see a lot of students coming into the classroom today, but as you may remember, there was a lot of debate early on and in the middle of this summer over whether to return face-to-face -face or online. It even sparked some protest earlier this summer outside the district's west side bus terminal, but again, both of those options will be available for students and families here. Now, some 50,000 students district wide will return today for either in person, virtual or a hybrid option. Linda Williams, who teaches seventh grade at Waldorf, recognizes that this fall, frankly, is just not going to feel the same as it did last year. She says, especially given that it's been six months since her students were inside the walls of her classroom, getting back into the swing of things will be a challenge. I've had my students since first grade and we are now going into seventh grade. And so I know that these young middle schoolers, these adolescents are um, just really fired up to see their friends again, but also that they've been, they're quite aware of what's going on in the world. And so that they may have some fears and again, some anxieties about coming back. Students learning in person, like Williams students at Waldorf, will have to fill out a daily health screening form. They'll also be required to wear a mask and get their temperature checked at the door before coming into school. Now